Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio. My name is Natifa and I am the owner of Juicy Christian Studio. Today I am excited to share with you guys my thoughts on the three trade shows that I did this year in my business. So this year my husband and I decided we were going to try to grow the wholesale side of our business and so we decided to tackle um, two trade shows. Um, we're going to do the Minneapolis Gift Mart and we're going to do the Lansing Gift Show. Um, and then I found out about the Niche Fair and thought it'd be kind of cool to try it out. Um, so I'm going to talk about my um, my thoughts on all three of them. I'm going to talk about my experience there, my experiences at these shows, and if I'm going to do it again um, next year. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Minneapolis Mart. That Mart was um, in January so it happened January I believe uh, night we went we spent night that we went the 19th through the 23rd I believe of January um, the show ran from the 19th through the 23rd and so we live about eight hours away from Minneapolis um, which is where the Mart was um, and so we went uh, we, we went two days before the Mart started so we did a travel a travel day and then we had a setup day and then the Mart happened and then we left the, the following day to come back home so um, that was about five days um, and I think that's pretty typical of a trade show um, is that length of time and so if you're gonna go plan for an entire week unless you live close by then you can kind of drive back home um, as soon as the March over or whatnot all right so our so cost for that budget our budget what cost for that show our budget was um, $2,500 for the show and that included the booth fee, it included um, electricity, it included our lodging, our gas, um, food, etc. Things like that and I thought that was like really really expensive but that's pretty typical for a show. I think that's on the cheaper side to be honest with you because some of the other shows cost a lot more money than that and so that was that was pretty reasonable. That was what we kind of set aside and that was kind of reasonable for us um, to do for that show. We stayed at the Residence Inn by Marriott in Minneapolis and we really enjoyed that hotel. Um, the nice thing about that one is that it, the, it has like a little like sitting area and a kitchenette if you want to you know to cook so you know, if you don't want to go out every night um, which was really my plan I was gonna cook every night I was going to you know just be whatever and I didn't do any of those things we went out every single night for dinner because we were exhausted at least I was exhausted at the end of the night I wanted to just go home and just get in my bed and go to sleep um, but we went out to dinner every night so I didn't even cook at all but I still love the space because when you come back from the show you're there all day it's really nice to just have you know a really like big um, space to kind of like get in and just sort of um, relax and just you don't have to be in a cramped room so I really enjoy that so we will probably stay there if we go again um, to that mart so residence in by Marriott is a really really good hotel the other nice thing about that hotel is that they had a complimentary breakfast in the morning which is great but they also had a complimentary like appetizer dinner Monday through Thursdays which I have never even heard of ever heard of and so it was really nice because one of the days we actually were snowed in it was snowing really really bad the roads were horrible and we just wanted just to kind of get something really close by and so we actually went there we had a little light appetizer dinner and it was really nice it was really nice to kind of for them to offer that service to us so that is a hotel I'm gonna have on my list next time I go to the Minneapolis Mart. Okay, so let's see buyers. So the people who came to this Mart, the buyers who came to the Mart were a combination of corporate buyers and um, like smaller gift shops and boutiques. And so your corporate buyers are the ones who are like um, from the bigger stores or the chain stores in Minneapolis. So um, for example, there was a company called Love from Minnesota, and they had like five stores. Um, between Illinois and Ch Illinois or Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, and Minneapolis, and so they're buying for two states, and so they, we would call those people a corporate buyer. Now, working with corporate buyers is a little bit different than working with gift shops. Um, I wouldn't say it's harder per se. I would just say it's just different. Um, there's just more paperwork involved in getting set up with them, um, and so I I love them both. I love working with corporate buyers, and I love working with local smaller boutiques. I think they're just they're just different um, but they still you know have the angle of carrying really you know great products for their customers and so um, if you're interested in you know learning more about how to work with the corporate buyer and what's what what I what that entails just let me know and I'll, I'll answer that question for you 
So let's see. Um, what else? Um, my neighbors were amazing in Minneapolis. I mean, they were they were fantastic. I cannot say, um, I can't say anything bad about them. I mean, they were really great. They were they were so generous with their information. They were so generous with their with their clients. I mean, they would like walk them over and say introduce us to them, which is, they didn't have to do that. That all oh, we're just like this unknown company in Minneapolis or Minnesota and so um, for them to do that for us was just really really amazing um, so I love my neighbors they were oh gosh they, they really made our, our trip I really enjoyed spending time with them um, let's see will I do the show again absolutely the staff were amazing you know the cost the cost was really amazing um, the buyers were great um, the one thing I will change is instead of doing the January show I think we're gonna try for the March show because apparently that is when all the temporary um, exhibitors really come out is for the March the March show so next year we'll be going back in March as opposed to January and hopefully because it's March the weather's a little bit better I am praying because that is the one thing I don't want to deal with is snow on the roads so so yeah so I think Minneapolis is really great I mean we, we, we really got some some great um, um, accounts we got some it was a really successful show for us and so we are very very pleased and um, yeah I think Minneapolis is a great show to go to so definitely going back to that one all right so the next one that I went to um, this year was a niche fair that fair was located in Cleveland Ohio so we went from Minneapolis back to Michigan back to uh, then across to Ohio so that was my first time actually in Cleveland um, and so I didn't really get to, to tour or do anything I was literally gone to the show all day and came back and went to sleep like I just or ate dinner and went to sleep I was exhausted all the time um, but niche fair is is a really really interesting mart um, or fair or market or whatever you want to call it um, because it's only for handmade makers and so everybody who was there they hand make all their stuff I mean and so that's a really unique concept that I haven't necessarily seen before an entire show just for handmade uh, makers and so I really love that aspect of it um, I was probably one of the last ones to sign up for the show because um, I was really nervous that it was the first time but you know I want to be a part of the scene I wanted to I wanted to get my company my company's name out there and so if a new show is coming that I think I fit in I'm probably gonna try it the budget for my for niche fair for us was about the same amount of money as um, as Minneapolis is $2,500 um, which to me I thought was really really expensive I really thought it was expensive and I even reached out to another promoter and say hey you know the show um, is a couple of days long this is how much it costs do you think this is a fair price and the person like you know honestly like that's that's kind of what they charge and so um, I was like alright I'm gonna try it so I jumped in you know and, and I did it um, niche fair was for two days, um, really one and a half days um, of bought for buyers um, because on the second day, the first day was like a nine to I believe a six. The second day was um, twelve to six, and from eight to noon, we were in um, an education session, a learning session, or a workshop, or whatever, um, a seminar, and I loved that part of it. I mean, I thought that was that was a really great aspect of the niche fair um, buyers and and, um, and the vendors could come to it and you know the presenters they had were just phenomenal to in my opinion so they had snap retail teaching us how to kind of you know automate things um, to an extent for like your social media and your marketing and then they had Zingerman training um, which is Zingerman's is a, is a restaurant in, in Arbor, Michigan and they do amazing they have an amazing business and people love them and they have great customer service and so they came and taught us what they do to kind of have great customer service and I was like this is really amazing and then we had Mr. Jared Scott who I just adore I thought he was really phenomenal he is his company is brand delicious and he helps um, companies really handmade companies um, really create a, a brand and kind of you know you're able to stand out there and so I learned a ton from him and I just I to me that was so valuable um, for their time and I just really that made the fair for me I love the aspect of it um, I love you know getting connected with the other buyers who were there I mean, the, not the buyers but the other vendors who were there I mean they were these vendors were high quality I mean these they were they were not playing games they came to 
to represent their companies and they represented their companies really well. So I love talking with them. I love getting to know their stories. I love getting to know um, their tips and stuff for what they're doing in their business in their whatever town that they live in um, or state that they live in. It was, it was really great to kind of get to know those people. Um, I um, I think in terms of if, I, if, if I'm going to, well, the buyers who came, let me talk about the buyers. The buyers who came to Niche Fair where um, I would say more on the boutique and gift shop side as opposed to corporate buyers. I think I saw one corporate buyer, um, one or two, um, and but otherwise they're mostly you know from gift shops um, locally or in Michigan, Illinois, um, and Ohio. And so um, I think, yeah, I think they were, I mean, they were great, they were fine. I think they were really surprised by the, the, the type of vendors that were there and the quality of vendors that were there at the fair. But um, I just, I really think that the buyers who didn't come to this fair really missed out because I'm telling you, the, the, the buyers, um, or the vendors who were there were just really, really high quality and they had, they brought, they came ready to, to slay. They came ready to just sort of, you know, like handle their business and they presented their stuff well. And so I really think buyers missed out on this one. Um, and I hope that next time around they will kind of show up and, and come in and check us out because I do believe that this fair um, is one to watch because um, of the type of vendors that were um, that were at the at the fair. So, um, am I gonna do it again? Um, probably. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence, but I think I will probably do it again, just because I think that um, I want to give buyers another opportunity to come out and see us. I think that um, um, I think the the education portion of that fair was amazing, and I think it would kind of be depending on what um, the the team comes up with this time, I think if they come up with something really amazing, then definitely I'm gonna be there, you know, because I think that um, the education portion and getting to know the other um, vendors were kind of what made it for me. So um, that is Niche Fair. Uh, the last one is the Lansing Gift Show. And the Lansing Gift Show has a really special place in my heart because um, that was the first trade show that I ever did. Um, that was, the, I mean, I think it was about five years ago, maybe, um, four or five years ago I did it, I did that show and honestly, man, I was so terrified then and just to see kind of how my entire, like, my entire product line has grown since that show, um, and the people that I learned from while I was there, you know, people telling me, um, you know, you should really consider coming to a show three times before buyers are going to really start taking you really seriously. And I saw that because we had a, we had a lot of repeat buyers, um, people who knew us before from before, and they came back and placed more orders with us. And so I think that kind of, um, you know, it, it worked for us. And so Lansing, our entire budget for Lansing is about $800 to be honest. So it's ridiculously affordable seriously affordable um, and that's probably because we don't stay in a hotel we live pretty close to Lansing um, well about an hour away so that's still kind of close for us we live an hour away so we drive every day to Lansing for the show but I think even if we stayed in a hotel in Lansing it probably would have only cost us $1,500 at the most for the entire show and that's including your booth gas food everything so I love Lansing because of that reason and the buyers who come there are a combination of corporate buyers and you know um, smaller boutique um, uh, gift shop buyers and so I think it's a good mix. Every year we see new vendors who show up um, for the fair, or, I'm sorry for the for the show and I think that's really amazing um, and I think it's a good combination of handmade uh, makers and also like um, more corporate um, um, retailers who are selling their stuff or vendors who are selling their stuff to um, to uh to the buyers and so i love lansing for that reason i think that for the amount of days for the cost i mean it's an amazing show to kind of get your feet wet into wholesale and so i would encourage anybody to you know jump in and and, and try it out because i think it's it's a really reasonable and affordable one to try um am i going to do lansing again absolutely i will probably always do lansing because i love you know I've, I've gotten to know some of the other retailers there or vendors there and i am just i love talking with them i love checking in it's like our check-in once a year when we see each other and kind of see how our business is going and we trade we i mean we, we learn a ton from each other we trade information we we ask questions and we just learn and we just you know we just we grow and so it's kind of cool to see everybody's business growing and doing cool things and me seeing my business um my business like crushes of who i want to be like you know i love seeing that because it pushes me to be better and so i think i will always do lansing because it has a special place in my heart 
so those are my um reviews or thoughts on the three shows I did this year um, the Minneapolis Smart, the uh, Niche Fair and the Lansing Gift Show. Um, if you have any questions about any other shows of things that I didn't answer go ahead and leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below um, and I'll be more than you know happy to answer those questions for you. I think there were great starts to my year. I'm still looking for some for the fall. Um, I think this is a good uh, opportunity to grow my business and so I love doing them. I think I'm exhausted at the end because I'm an introvert, but I love, I mean, I really do enjoy doing these shows. I really do enjoy um, talking to people and taking their orders and, and, and trying to figure out how I can help them serve their customers better. What can I create to help your customers um, to delight them? And so I'm always asking like, what do you need in your store? What can I do for you? Because I love the aspect of it. So I think I will always do these shows um, and, and hopefully it'll help grow my business a lot. Um, it was a very successful year for us. Um, in the trade show season so um, we're extremely busy right now but I love it I love all of it so thank you for watching thank you for leaving your comments thank you for just any kind of love you're sending my way I s totally appreciate it and I am gonna sign off and I will talk to you guys a little bit later ciao